Okay, the next thing we're going to do is take this electrical box off the machine and just let it dangle. And they've just got two screws on the side up here. These are pretty short screws. Make sure you keep them separate. That's like maybe a quarter of an inch long, the thread's on it. I'm going to loosen this one up here and hang on to the box as you take this one out. So this entire box, you can actually take and just let it dangle like that now. And you can actually see that these wires just kind of hold it. It doesn't weigh much, so those wires are fine. But that's why you want to unplug it so that you want to make sure there's no power in there. going to be in the way. You don't want to get electrocuted in here. Okay, set these screws over here. These are the short screws. Now, the next thing we're going to do is take out this tie bar here that all the vacuum hoses run through. And here's where we may need the 10 millimeter or 3 8 wrench. If these have never been out from the factory, these are probably pretty tight. They might even be Loctite in, lock, have Loctite on them. So I'm going to hold this with a wrench and loosen that. This screw is longer. It's probably 5 sixteenths or 3 eighths of an inch long. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Okay, I got that screw out. Then I'm going to take this tie bar here and I'm actually going to pull the side frame and try to spread it just a little bit just to get that out of there. I can see all the hoses kind of go down in through there. I'm just going to let that dangle. Now I can get to there's a link here and a link over here. There's a little snap ring in the top of it. And what we're going to do is we're going to pop that snap ring off. And that's what I've got the magnet here for. Put the magnet there and just pull that little snap ring off the pin on the top only. There you can see it, maybe. This little snap ring. We'll do the same thing on this side. Okay, two snap rings. Then we're going to pop the pin out. When you pull that pin out of there, that link will drop down. Same thing over here. That link is down. And you're going to take the Phillips again. And you're going to pull out these little end caps here. I've already got them out on this one just to speed things up a little bit. There's a little tiny Phillips screw that you pull out of there. So both sides. So we're going to take this bearing cap out of there. So that's where we may need the hammer and the screwdriver. Sometimes these, if they haven't been out in a while, you got to get right on the edge of that and just tap it a little bit to get that cap out. So, the same thing on this side over here. Again, I've already got the screws out of it. Kind of wiggle it out of there. Sometimes the bearings don't come out with the cap. They're stuck on the end of the roller, but this time they actually came out, which is a good thing. Now, the only last thing you got is you got the belt that's on this side that 
drives it drives that roller so I'm just going to cinch that off the side get the screwdriver and you can see where it kind of pokes through the side frame here I'll just pull it down below the belt now you're going to take and you're going to push this roller to the non-operator side you're going to put a little bit of a pressure on it get that belt out of the way And there should be just enough room if you push on it to cinch that roller down right there. And there you go. You got the feed roller out. Now to put the next one in. The new one in, I should say. You can get these from us. Here at Ryobi Press Parts, we only sell original Astro parts. The new rollers come with aluminum gear. The old ones, the really old ones have a, a plastic gear. You see the difference? So we're just going to take this side here and put it over just reverse order. We're going to put this in here. And from this point, I can move it in a little bit further and actually put my belt right around it. Got the belt around it already. You can see it in there. And I'm going to push the side frame. Just I don't need much pressure, just a little bit of pressure, and that goes right up and clears the hole. My two bearing caps. Put that one on. That one on. Now I'm going to bring my link back up. Put the pin in it. I like to put the pin from this side, go that way, because it makes it a little bit easier to get the clip on. And just lay it on there, and that's where I've got my needle nose to snap it on. And do the same thing on the operator side. Snap ring. Now I'm going to put the spreader bar back in that the hose is mounted on. I'm going to line up one hole on one side, and again I'm going to push out on the other side frame because it is pretty tight. I'm going to get this screw started and just snug it down. Don't completely tighten it though. I'm going to do the same thing on this side, the operator side. And when I go to tighten those, this top of this bar, this plane wants to be perfectly parallel with the one in the back here. This one here, because when we put our plate back on there, they have to be nice and flat, perfectly parallel in there. So that's where my wrench comes in handy again. I'm going to tighten this as tight as I can get it. Might even be a good idea to put a spot of blue Loctite on those screws just so they don't move come out vibrate out same thing on that one I'm going to take the control panel now these are the short screws just start that one next short screw once I get them both in, I can snug them down good and tight. And 
I can plug the feeder back in. I'm going to put this plate on. You can put it on first or second, it doesn't matter. Lay it on, and then there's this back panel here that really should be. Before you tuck this down, you want to push that panel, should go under this card, make it a nice clean. Then you're going to put those four screws in. Then I'm going to start the machine, get my setup button. Again, go forward until this segmented roller comes all the way back against the feed roller. Then I can put this front piece back in, put the nose down first, bring this back. And you're just going to mount your thumb screws back in there. Got to move it around a little bit to find the, where the hole's at for it. Right there it is. Two on each side. Just tighten those down. And there you go. If you want to test it, you can just start the machine up manual mode. Hold the setup button. Take it to it down. There you go. You can get all the parts you need for this at RyobiPressparts.com. Free phone service after the sale.